Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Now again, before we start this video, like I did at the beginning, I'd like to say a couple of things. For one, thank you to those of you who have been contributing to the Patreon for the channel. Uh, it's because of the Patreon that I'm able to do things like this and put together the time in order to make sure that Healer Happy happens in the first place. So thank you for that. The link to the Patreon is under the stream. We have some other series that are coming back because of that bestiary Happy Gaming News. Happy Gaming News will come back in November, and Bestiary will be beginning here again in October. Uh, probably the same day as this posts, actually, to uh, YouTube. If not, the, the day before or day after. So anyway, uh, the other thing is, I'm doing something experimental here. I'm recording this live on Twitch. I want to get some feedback on that if it's possible, because it makes this a little bit easier to do. I'm a bit concerned about what it kind of does to the series, because it means that... There's sort of an element lost where I'm not just kind of talking about my stories, but it may be able to help me fill the time in between sort of breaks. I guess when I'm just doing like random things, it'll kind of give you stories and whatnot that can be brought up. So I am, I also feel like it'll probably affect the quality of the video itself, although I am double rendering these. So it should, with a, with a double pass on a render, it should help make up for it, but because of the lower bit rate, it will probably impact quality. So. Be sure to post feedback in the comment section. It's welcome. And I'm going to now continue my adventure through the Churning Mist. So, first of all, I am using, for those of you watching live who haven't been keeping up with Healer Happy's latest return to the adventure, I am testing out the Double Cross Hot Bar a little bit. So, I'm trying to see if it's something I like or not. It has returned. It has indeed returned. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Nope. So, in the first part, we covered the majority of the Churning Mist uh, Ether Currents, although we still have a few to do from quests, and of course, the final quest of the zone, just like with Samal, will give us an Ether Current as well. So, uh, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with this one. It'll probably take me a total of three videos to finish this place in particular. There's another Ether Current. I think we had, mm, I think we had like seven Ether Currents remaining. So, let's see how this ends up going. So, I'm being asked, what's the point of alts in this game? And uh, I've explained this in the Healer Happy series before, but I never mind bringing it up again. I actually pr I actually encourage, if I'm going to be live streaming this, to be asked... Also, we don't do spoilers for anyone who hasn't watched this live, so we skip all the cutscenes in the Let's Play series. Uh, I do encourage questions in the chat, especially during the recording of this, because it is a series geared at newer players for the game. Or players who just want to see an adventure. So either or, I actually kind of appreciate questions like that live. So there's very limited purposes to having an alt. For example, this alt for me specifically exists because I wanted to record a series going through the game as a healer. I wanted to play controller uh, with my controller for the first time. So that's entirely new for me. I'm not very good at playing with the controller. Um, so it works out like that. The biggest reason is usually to raid multiple times per week. Um, and it allows you to, if you're going to raid multiple times per week, potentially you could take that as a means of uh, of trying different classes in raid. Uh, that's the advantage I would take from it. However, a lot of people sometimes just make alts because they want to do things more than once per week. You know, they, they, they're somewhat, they feel somewhat limited by weekly caps. And they would prefer to, even if it's the same task, have multiple characters to do it on. Also, I did not press that, that uh, cleric stance there. Off to a great start. Um, one of the biggest reasons, though, is crafting. Because crafting has something called specialist, and you can only have three specialists per character, although you can change it, um, some people have multiple characters so that they can be a specialist in multiple different categories as well. So if you're not interested in crafting, if you're not interested in raiding multiple times per week, one character a week is perfectly fine. Um, you can achieve everything other than those few limited scenarios on a single character. For a new player, I don't immediately encourage that they make multiple characters. Generally, there's not a purpose, especially for a new player. I did. I've been talking about it all day, and I announced it on uh, Twitter as well. Fun. Controller's not very good at playing me. Well, I, yeah, sure, if you want to go with that, that's, you're more than welcome. I love Presence of Mind when I'm leveling. Presence of Mind is just a great ability while leveling. And then some people want to play through the main story again because, yeah, I mean, there's everyone has their reason. There's some reasons that are kind of based on the way the game systems work, like weekly limitations, 
And then there's some that are more personal, like, hey, I wanted to experience a story, but I wanted to experience it as I was playing through it, not just watch it in the book. That's another viable reason. Hey, Floyd, how's it going? Presence of mind increases your spell speed by a incredibly by an incredibly high amount. So when you're DPSing, or in this case soloing, and you need to put out more DPS, it's very effective at uh, at making that happen faster. Now I mentioned Palace of the Dead in the last episode, uh, and I'm actually going to be doing Healer Happy going through Palace of the Dead sometime this month because I feel like before the next floors are unlocked, Healer Happy should absolutely show people what Palace of the Dead is about. Yes, it is U.S. and Canada only fun life. So for Palace of the Dead, I highly recommend it's leveling 1 to 50. Once you're past 50, it's kind of up to you. It's still really good for leveling post 50, and especially if you're a DPS and you don't want to have to deal with queue times, it'll always be pretty much the most solid choice. But it's, it's kind of on you. If you're a tank or a healer at level 50, you kind of are a little bit more free to make the choice whether or not you want to level with Palace of the Dead. If you're a DPS, I'd still say it's probably the superior method unless you have tank or healer friends that you can run dungeons with. They're pretty much equal, but with the Accursed Horde, if you're gonna, the thing is, if you start doing Palace of the Dead, if you don't have gear lined up for that character from 50 to 60, they're gonna have to do Palace of the Dead the whole time. Unless you want to take the time out to buy gear from like NPCs or you have gear waiting on the site. This takes forever. I never do that fate. No matter how few people are doing it, I feel like that fate in particular always takes forever. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. Every time I've done that fate, it's always taken forever for me. Some people, yeah, that's another thing. Sometimes people make alts, going back to that question, uh, some people make alts to just have multiple races. They want to do it for glamour purposes. There's no mandatory reason. Minus, if you consider it mandatory to have uh, specialists on crafters on every job, that's about the only thing that would be mandatory. Yes, so that was another big thing I wanted to do with this character. Eventually, I wanted to show Scholar and I wanted to show Astro. Um, however, at the time that I had said that, the series was kind of getting stagnant and stale, and I felt that it was probably a better idea if I just stuck with White Mage, because I was already barely having enough time to play White Mage as is, and if I'm gonna do Scholar and whatnot, I would basically be doing all the content I already did, leveling from 30 to 50, and I didn't feel like that was too thrilling for Healer Happy. What it may mean, though, is it may mean live streaming Healer Happy, leveling, and then recording separately gameplay as Scholar and Astrologian, which is something I'm totally open to doing um, since the return of Healer Happy has become prominent. Specifically, again, because of Patreon. Again, shout out to the people who have been contributing over on Patreon for making that that possible in the first place you make me it makes me feel a lot more comfortable doing this to have supporters who really want to see it and they're the ones who are making it happen i want to do it for you guys take care Junie. my arcanist i believe is already leveled to some degree on this character it is 36, so my Scholar would be 36. Why is my Arcanist 36 on this character? Why did I do that? Maybe I started leveling it for Scholar? That's possible. Okay, let's see where... I believe there's an Aether Current on the other side of this thing. I don't remember if it's up top. I think it's down below. Would you say you missed... I, I wanted to continue Healer Happy really bad, but unfortunately, uh, before the Patreon, just... The time investment for one Healer Happy video is is quite high, and I was kind of opposed to doing it via live on Twitch. Yeah, it's up top. Okay. Before I was. Um, because I felt like it might remove something. I'm kind of enjoying the whole answering questions aspect. I do it during my live stream all the time anyway. Healer Happy was kind of built on the prospect of teaching new players certain things, so it works out for this. Yeah, but my Arcanist is 36. Like, I know I wanted to go to 34 for Eye for an Eye, but why did I level it to 36? The only reason why Scholar was iffy is because I was like, am I gonna... Am I gonna be able to play this on controller okay? I mean, probably. I could just let the uh, healer do it. Music's a little loud. That's kind of strange. I wonder why the... the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I did that for the other thing. Thank you. That works. That should be a, a more... Steady volume. All right, let me get this ether current first. I must have just needed to do something on Arcanist specifically. 
That might that must be. Oh, pff. I thought I could uh, I thought I could clip it there at the end. Turns out I was wrong. The whole reason for me doing this on controller was because I wanted to approach the game from a perspective I'd never played it on. I never played this game with a controller. Not in 1.0, not in 2.0, not in 3.0. Not until Healer Happy, at least. And approaching the game from a different perspective sort of gives you an idea of the pros and cons of the different ways. For example, I feel much more relaxed playing on a controller, but I don't feel as effective, me personally. How do you set the mini hotbar above the cross hotbar? You just enable one of your horizontal hotbars on your controller, and then you just place it there. Hello? I press skip? Now, he's talking about the horizontal crossbar, not the double cross hotbar like that. Man, I really wish I could fly in the zone already. <laughs> Appreciate that here. Well, I mean, people uh, people on Patreon made it very clear. They wanted Healer, Healer Happy to return. And Bestiary to return. If anything, uh, that's death. Yeah, that's pretty much all I need to do. Defeat the defeat enemies as you search for the airy. What is that I'm doing right now? I am, uh, I'm, well, I'm going through the churning mist. So, one big thing is I am not fucking touching the, uh, I'm just trying to figure out the map command. Uh, I am not touching the, f the fucking, <laughs> the fucking Moogle quests. Please, don't make me do them. I'm not doing them. I don't want to do it. Enemies die. It's only two enemies, but these holies are still as strong as ever. Got him. Moogle quest. No, Moogle quest. Yeah, but... Yeah, but I mean, there's no reason why I went to 36. Uh, I'm going to accept this Link Shell invite. Again, only because it's my own fucking Link Shell that wasn't even made by me. But again, I, uh, I'm not going to be paying attention to Link Shell chat all that much while I'm recording these. P uh, people remember from the earlier parts... Like, I would try paying attention to party chat and like I would generally ignore tells and stuff, although I would mention getting them. I just like to keep the video as much about the people watching the video and not so much about the people in the game, unless it's like something, like what happened with the Praetorium, I'm sorry, uh, Castra Meridianum, that was cool, where a bunch of people knew what the series was, they realized they were in it, or that they were being recorded as a part of it, and they were all good sports. I have a bad feeling that I'm going to aggro if I jump down. <laughs> I have an incredibly bad feeling about that. And that was cool. That was a fun episode to record. But I don't want to have, like, leisurely conversations while I'm in the middle of recording a video. That, that, eh, that takes away from the video, I feel. Especially because I'm deliberately blocking chat so that people have privacy. I only play controller for Healer Happy. That's only for this specific character that I'll use a controller. Not even the class or the job, it's this specific character. Yeah, this is the Odin Mount music. Thank you, Out of Tune Bard, by the way. He Like a year and a half ago, he gifted me this thing, and I tried to give it away. He said, no, that's for you. And I said, oh, but, but I, I don't, I don't want... I'll fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't want to argue about this. I'll take it. I'll accept your gift. Please don't Agathos spawn. Can I not? Are you serious? Are you serious? I can make that jump easy. Stupid Moogles. I blame you for building it this way. If you had only built it a little farther out, it's always the Moogles' fault. Hey, there's a Chocobo flying right there. I do have, well, I have the Titan and Garuda Pony on this character. One for one hype. Man, if only I had won the Ifrit one too, or if I had gotten the Ifrit one too. That would have been sick. I like this plan. <laughs> 
The holy spams. It always bothers me, like, how weak these quest mobs are in terms of their HP versus the, like, regular mobs out in the world. And I hate these mobs in particular because uh, breath after breath attack. Goodbye. I never even started working towards Kirin. That's what makes White Mage the best, is uh, is the spam. Is the holy spam. It's the best part about White Mage. We've already explained that in Healer Happy so many times. It's always, always about the holy spam. As soon as we got holy. What dungeon's the first dungeon you have holy? I can't remember. What dungeon is the first dungeon you're level 45 in? I guess Zamiel Darkhold? I don't, yeah, because Stone Vigil caps you at 44, doesn't it? So it'd be Zamiel Darkhold. That dungeon is only good when you're a white mage. <laughs> I would not be happy with that dungeon as a scholar, but as a white mage, give it to me. Everybody loves everybody loves big pulls on the dark hold with the with the holy spam. Holy spam makes that tolerable. Bringing an astro not tolerable. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess there are two. There's one behind me. Somebody just tried to offer me 10% EXP bonus. So, yeah, that's one thing I never did on this character. I never joined a free company to get the bonuses. One thing that probably would have sped up my leveling process a lot was doing that. And it's the one thing I never did on this character. I always tried to make this character kind of a loner. I guess that works. Dude, Holy's amazing. Everything about it is amazing. What's going on, Keen? How you doing, my man? I don't have, uh... Fluidora. 10%'s too weak. No. It's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts, I promise. The thought and the 15% and the EXP. Alright, Blade has a question. Uh, hey everyone, I am new to this room. I think I have officially been away from this game for too long. I am seeing flying mounts. When did that become a thing? It became a thing in Heavensward, the expansion. That released in June of 2015, and we're actually getting an announcement for the next expansion very soon. Oh, here's another Ether Current quest, by the way. Yeah, I don't have... Ooh, what's going on over there? Oh, he's just doing the quest, never mind. I think that's the quest that he's doing right now. Dude, I can't wait for a size. Things of a. Uh, never mind. <laughs> He's just aggroed it before I did. That's all it was. I mean, I need to kill this anyway, so I might as well take it. Can you come back? Nope. You uh, you need to come back up here, bad guy. Did he reset, or is he still on me? I think he. I think he's still on me. Yeah, he's still on me. Is that gonna LOS him? Please don't tell me that. God damn it. <laughs> Went down the stairs. Yeah, you still get. Well, there's no. There's no flying enemies to give you aggro. But there are, uh, if you're, like, just barely hovering above the ground, yeah, you can still aggro stuff. How's healing with a controller compared to mouse and keyboard? I still prefer mouse and keyboard, but it's not its not really that bad. You just kind of got to know. It reminds me of when I played Final Fantasy XI, in a sense, because I did play Final Fantasy XI with a controller. As much as this is the only time I play Final Fantasy XIV with a controller, I played a lot of Final Fantasy XI on controller. And uh, it reminds me a lot of that, where you kind of just got to know, you got to get used to the timings of how long it takes you to go between targets when you're selecting uh, when you're selecting who to heal. I think healing in alliances is probably my least favorite thing on controller. But, uh, I mean, I got used to it, kind of, but eh. It's mostly because I like to cover for the entire, like, alliance A, B, and C when I'm healing as much as I can. And it just gets kind of tiresome to target them. And don't worry about a blade. Don't worry, this is actually an alternate character. This is not my main character blade. This is actually a... Uh, you came in at a good time to ask a question because this is actually... We're recording an educational series for YouTube. And I've, it's my first time doing it on Twitch. I'm hoping that the YouTube side doesn't mind the question answering 
I feel like it, I'm hoping it brings a new element to it, but it could also be something people don't like. Because normally when I do these kind of videos, I just kind of try to fill the dead space with stories or talking about what I'm doing, what I'm going to do next. And uh, it's going to be interesting seeing how it's received, the live aspect of it. I can't play Final Fantasy XI anymore. The game puts me to sleep. I mean, you have to nowadays, Keen. You can't... The thing is about MMOs, you can't succeed on being a hardcore MMO. You pretty much need to hit as many demographics as possible for your game to be a success. I mean, at least for a AAA company, your game needs to have pizzazz. It needs to have flash. It needs to be true to its roots, but it also needs to be able to pull in new people and not be stuck just catering to the same people. That's a quick that's a quick way to send your game into the into the trap shoot. Into the trap shoot? Into the, the trash shoot. Alright, that's another one. How many do I have now? Out of curiosity. Ether currents. I'm missing two more from quests. One of those is from completing the dungeon, the airy. There's one right there, and then I know where the last one is. Okay, wow. I remember these ether currents in the zone being really annoying. I know the very last one is super annoying. Oh, see, that's fine then, Rawgirth. That's actually an acceptable reason to do it. Oh, I'll show you trousers of healing. I know, DJ. Astrologian pre-52 is pretty miserable in dungeons. Even pre-50 is just miserable in dungeons. I gotta put on the body and the legs. All right, let's uh, let's. I I don't want to take off the swag, but I'm gonna have to take off the swag. Oh, it's even more swag. Never mind. This was totally worth it. I just I'm just swagging a different way now. See, look how swag I am. Oh yeah, Sanix, he's not a wannabe. Stop it. Yeah, that's another thing, guys. If you ever see a black mage named Mister Happy. And he's from the Exodus server? That is not me. <laughs> Just want to be clear about that. That's a lot of belts. That's a lot of belts. Call me Lulu. I got all these belts. I need a new weapon is what I need. My gun ran out of weapon. Oh no. That's not good, Hammer. Please, anybody dealing with Hurricane Matthew this weekend, don't be reckless. Don't be like, well, I'll just entertain myself on the internet instead of being safe. Please be safe. Please be paying attention to what's happening. Please just take care of yourself and do not jeopardize yourself to be on Twitch. Well, you can't... It doesn't, even if you were to trademark your name, you can't prevent somebody from, make, from putting your name in a video game. <laughs> That would be ridiculous. Why? I would look beautiful in a dress made of belts. Have you not seen how beautiful my character is? Hello? Look at this. Look, he's even got the same cross arm that, that Lulu has. Yeah, don't wipe to hurricane mechanics, please. Oh, hey, ether current. Did I? Wait, was that? Wait a minute. <laughs> Did they move ether currents? Did they move ether currents? Wait a minute. That was the. Okay, well, all right, that's good. <laughs> I'm I'm dead serious. Did they move? Did they move ether currents in the zone? I could have swore there was one that was like totally obnoxious to get. And now I'm debating that. Oh, they moved them! Okay, no wonder this zone felt so much easier for the ether currents. Holy moly! I was wondering why. I was like, why am I finding these so quick? This isn't supposed to be this easy. Well, apparently it is. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, that's why. That's beautiful. Good change, Square Enix. Good change. Yeah, that's what I remember. That's the one I remember, Platinum. 
Awesome. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. So that's machinist unlocking there. What's this over here? Oh, that's uh, so those are the leave quests. I should probably unlock those and show them at some point. But I'll avoid it. Okay, we need to go to Fort Taunt Manor. That's last vigil. Oops, I just went back to the uh the that's not the right one. That works a lot better. That's beautiful. Is there a way to control uh, which spells from Party Alliance members I see the animations of on PlayStation 4? So I've never played on the PlayStation 4, so I'm not the right person to answer. I can tell you that there is a means of filtering how many uh, effects you see. Own Party Others. Uh, show all, show all, show all. I don't know if this option exists on the PlayStation 4. But you can choose, like, I usually play with everything on show limited, except for own, which I do show all. Um, that's usually what I recommend. Others is probably what you'll want to do if you're looking to reduce alliance and party members. Or you could just turn it off altogether. If that option exists on the PlayStation 4, that'll be the one. Okay, then it does. I'm, my chat's telling me it does exist on the PlayStation 4. So that'll be the option you're looking for. Under character configuration. Where was it again? It's under character configuration, the first tab, control settings, and then the character setting. There you go. That's a good thing, honestly, about doing Healer Happy Live, is that... Hmm, is that people can help me with answering questions. Like, if I'm unsure of something, instead of it being answered in the comment section, it can be answered live, and then people have the information immediately. So I'm just, I'm just weighing the different pros and cons here. Let's, uh, let's not talk about that, Tiepo, because I don't want people asking about that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's not, let's, uh, let's just pretend that doesn't exist. Oh, the airship landing is not here. Airship landing's in a different spot. It's in the pillars. It was in the right spot. I was in the right spot. I just needed to go over a little bit. I need to go to the astrological. Well, that's a big reason why I want to show Palace of the Dead. It's because it'll be, EXP-wise, it'll be very worth it. Hashtag worth it. Oh, hello. Because I'm trying to avoid doing all of these Moogle quests. That's a lot of experience points I'm missing out on. You know? Now I need to go back to the Sky Steel Manufactory. Okay, I did it out of order. I'll have to come back and unlock Astro at some point. Let's go sky steel. A Palace of the Dead is fantastic. I mean, for those not willing to wait for Healer Happy's adventure in the Palace of the Dead, I will be using, I will be doing non pre mades and I won't be soloing it. I'll be doing it with four other people. I mean, I'll be doing it with three other randoms, I guess I should say. So it should be a, a new experience for me to some degree. We should have a we should have a Halloween event this year. I don't, oh yeah, I think I remember somebody saying that maps were data mined, and that there there appeared to be a haunted house involved in this year's Halloween event. We that's not confirmed, but I'm hoping that it's true. Probably tweaks. We don't know yet though, because the new floors aren't available for another three and a half weeks approximately. No, I don't want to touch the baskets. No baskets. Oh, the Waking Sands. Great. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I have another thing. Everyone always yells at me for going through Horizon instead of going to Limsa Minsa and taking the boat. But for anyone who doesn't remember, I have a very special reason I like to go through Horizon. It's not the faster way. It is not at all. However, this Chocobo Keep over here lets me take a break for about a minute and a half. While he takes me to the Waking Sands... It's beautiful. Look at this. I don't have to do anything. I'm gonna take some. I would say I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Hmm. See? And then you just chill. And besides, you get to listen to this awesome theme that I swear is nowhere else in the game except the Chocobo Keep. This is the most fun way to do it, I promise. Hmm. 
You know, it'd be nice if there was a tour of the realm, yeah, like you just said, and you can access it at like a really low level. So new players could literally have the like, because they, so what they already did is the, the lower level zones are basically auto, their maps are auto unlocked when you go through them now. So you might as well have something that tours all the Realm Reborn zones for a Chocobo Keep. So new players could see the whole world. Uh, the arrows distinguish where zones are. They're basically like a giant means of determining, hey, this is, uh, this is a zone. This will go that way. But it's just a small percentage? I mean, might as well. I want Tour of the Realm. Just give, just give the new players Tour of the Realm. Oh, so um, for those who didn't know, uh, since we have Yugiri on the screen right now and where she's part of the main story as we speak, um, the voice actors for Yugiri had a horrible, horrible scenario um, that happened with her and her son. She was actually her her husband uh, murdered her and her son, and that's why you don't see her in the story much anymore. God bless her and her son's soul. They actually recently convicted the husband of. Uh, Recently convicted the husband, and I think he's serving a life sentence, so justice has been doled out. I think he admitted to the crime, so I think that was pretty much guaranteed it was going to happen, but uh, justice has been has been served on uh, on that front. But if you don't see much of her in the main story, you'll, you'll probably wonder why you don't see much of her. Um, that's why. That horrible scenario happened. So, uh... God, uh, God, uh, rest their souls. Yeah, that's an old, old story. Um, I forgot when it happened. It was, it was several patches ago. I think it was about nine months ago, or nine months to a year ago that it happened. And the, uh, the sentence was just given earlier this week for the husband. On that note, yeah, and Final Fantasy XIV Reddit now has Yugiri as their icon. In remembrance. In remembrance. Yeah, I think it was around 3.1. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was the English voice actress. Yeah, I mean that becomes the question: Will they ever recast Yugiri? I feel like before they they did they did voice changes for the expansion from A Realm Reborn to Heaven's Ward. I feel like it's in a I feel like prior to the next expansion, it'd be a little inappropriate. But post the next expansion, they probably recast her when we get more involved with Doma, if at all. It was eight months ago that it happened. Okay. So maybe in the maybe in an expansion, but I, I feel prior to an expansion, they should just they should just preserve what Yagiri has done so far, and then eventually build the character. They should. I'm surprised they haven't paid some sort of homage in game directly, but I have a feeling they'll do it eventually. Yoshi P is pretty good about honoring people, so I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Uh, yes. Next week, a uh, week from tomorrow, so eight days from when I'm recording this, it's a Thursday, by the way, for those watching on YouTube. It is eight days till the expansion announcement. Hello, Celestion. Well, I'm glad, uh, Celestion. Uh, we're actually recording this for YouTube live. This, this exact gameplay will be posted to YouTube. We've, had, uh, we've been encouraging people to ask questions live so I can answer them during the Healer Happy segments. And this doesn't mean every Healer Happy segment is going to be live, but it means that I can do some of them live when I need to. Which is a, which is a bonus. And uh, we have those who have contributed on Patreon to thank for that. They are, they are the reason this was able to return, and I'm quite grateful for that. Yes, I did platinum.
I gotta pay attention to my phone. The main reason that we're recording this now for anyone watching live is because I actually have a pretty busy day ahead of me. Um, I've raid in seven hours. I might stream that. Uh, I might as well. A12 Savage, we're all progging on it. So it's like, like a lot of people are progging on A12 Savage. So we're going to look like shit. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be much of a surprise when it eventually happens. I guess Mariel's in that house, not this house. Dude, my healer always looks fab. I would be down with that. I'd be down with that, Lord. Skipping the cutscenes. Hi, Chris. Is it a belt? Can I get a belt for me? No. Luckily, the main story gives you plenty of gear. Indeed, tweaks. Indeed. All right. So at this point, uh, we've been recording. I want to keep these videos to about 30 to 40 minutes. So the Churning Mist, we're almost done with, guys. We've gotten all the Ether Currents, uh, except for the all the quest-related ones. I believe we have two quest-related Ether Currents remaining. One of them is a dungeon, and the other one is a quest that we'll run into the next time we go back there. So in the next video, hopefully what we can do is finish up what we have remaining there. There's a few things, there's a few quests that need to happen before we can finish up our quest there. So it'll probably be a little bit longer, but uh, at least one more video for the Churning Mist, and then I'm going to do, do a series of Palace of the Dead videos. Palace of the Dead is pretty long. So the first video will probably be 10 to 20, I mean 1 to 20, and the third, fourth, and fifth video will probably be 30, 40, 50, because they start taking a pretty long time. But anyway, guys, I am going to wrap up this video. I'm going to continue the live stream, however. I'm waiting for my grandmother, who's visiting California, to let me know when she's in the San Diego area. In fact, I'm going to text her as soon as I'm done with this recording. She said there's lots of traffic, so I probably still have a fair bit of time. But anyway, thank you again for making the Healer Happy series continue and if you're on youtube be sure to provide feedback about the live streaming healer happy on twitch and if it affects the quality of the youtube series i definitely want to make sure that if people are paying on patreon to return this series to youtube that it is still adequate for them that is the most important thing for me anyway uh, i'm gonna wrap this up on youtube twitch stream will continue so thank you for watching and until next time take care all right, so that's a wrap up for that. What I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna switch back to the other overlay so I can continue to live stream normally. Uh, there might be two black boxes that pop up on the screen, but I actually wanna do a roulette or two on uh, on Healer Happy because I I'm, feel like I'm not gonna be able to stay ahead of the leveling curve and that concerns me. Maybe with Palace of the Dead, but I wanna make sure I have it fixed just in case. Yeah, I figured there were gonna be those two black boxes. There might be a black line still on the screen. Yeah, there is. Okay, that's this one. <laughs>